So that's what's in the pipeline for me. Like I did with the strong one, I'm gonna get my head down, I'm gonna give it all I can, and hopefully I can become something in the film industry. You. Congratulations, you're officially amazing. The Guinness Book of Records is a book I've read avidly from a child. Every year, I've always got my hands on the book one way or the other. And it'll... Well, I, I used to uh, power lift, and my record was 710 pounds. So I know how much weight this is. It is extraordinary. It is uh, absolutely, I kind of human being not even possible, but it, a human being has done it, so therefore it is possible. So it is really extraordinary. And I'm so fortunate and so lucky that the record was done right here at the Arms Classics Sports and Business Festival. So let's give him again a big, big hand. How much training did you do for this? Literally 365 days a year. Everything in my mind is just for this, you know, one world record. It upset me so much. Last year I did it, I dropped it, disallowed, so to do it now and get a, get a you know, hard rep is just amazing. Well, we have the utmost respect for you. You are a great uh, uh, winner, a champion, someone that has failed in various different lifts. You, every time you got up again and you got going, that's what winners do. They don't stay down, they get up and they get going. Congratulations, and I hope you say, I'll be back. The best features in here, and I've got it in the house as well, is the, the drinking water. Now, the drinking water, it's something that you've got to get right. You can do all your, your training, your recovery, your diet, you know, your food, get that right. But if you're not putting the right fluids in you, then you're on a downhill spiral. Tap water in the UK isn't that bad, to be fair. You know, I've done a lot of studies on it. It's not as bad as other places in the world, but it's not the best. So I decided, what is the best? What is the best drinking water on the planet? And with a lot of research, a lot of reviews, and a lot of sort of asking questions of a lot of professionals and scientists, we came across this. It's called Kangen water. I've got another filter before it, just to take some of the harsh chemicals out, such as like the fluorides and stuff like that, that then go straight to the Kangen. Now what the Kangen water does, turns the pH level to the highest it can. So it goes up to 9.5 pH. And then this one down here, is another, I mean it's like two and a half pH, that's like an acid basically, it's used like for like watering your plants, washing your dishes, that kind of stuff, it's like it's got a really sort of, uh, that's all the good stuff out of the water, that's all the bad stuff out of the water, so it sort of like separates the two, so it's a molecular hydrogen rich water, so the benefits are anti-inflammatory, anti-acid, oxygenates the blood, and cellular hydration, so they, these companies have been in business for 47 years, so what it does is run through the Kangen, got some sort of nice filtration system in there, puts a few minerals back in, and then it's got like an electrode system that uh, basically that, that's what makes the pH levels go off the charts, and then obviously separates it and puts the crap here, and this is the good drinking water here. I would say I was drinking 12 litres of water a day, you know, times seven, so you're talking 80 litres of water a week I was buying. So let's average it out a pound a litre, you know, so I'm spending 80 pounds a week on mineral water, and I invested in this, because I was sick of the plastic bottles. I was sick, I felt bad about all the plastic waste I was producing and also the money that I was wasting. I've got one in the house, I've got one on the kitchen tap, I've got like a separate tap next to the sink, that's drinking water, and then I've got one in my spa as well, obviously, because I don't want to be drinking tap water. I'll tell you what, I'll put the link in the description of this video. So, this is insane. 
Why you need to do all your research. I'm not going to put any words in your in your mouth. Do your research. Go on the website. I'll put the link in the bio. Have a look around yourself. You can talk to an advisor. He will fill you on any questions you got. So uh, guys, check it out. That is pretty much it. I mean, other than the little bits of artwork that I've had put in, and I'm, you know, I'm going to put some more bits of artwork in here. I don't know, maybe get some painter in to do some like Greek memorials or something. And again, look at that view. I mean, kids have had the, you know, the friends round and had parties in the pool as well. So it's been a nice, a nice little feature uh, to add onto the house. Right then guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the little tour of my new spa. Uh, and again, this is me leveling up. This is me sort of taking my athleticism to the next level. Why would I travel to a gym to go, you know, then do all my recovery stuff? Why not have it at home? If I can, why not? You know, I'm, I'm training so hard, my immune system's like this all the time. So a cold can put me on my back for a couple of weeks, you know? So it's super important. I do stay away from those kind of things. And of course, you know, I'll make some good use out of this for years and years to come, regardless of what I do. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like that video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time. Big love the beast.